All right, thank you very much uh, for the introduction and coordinating uh, the webinar. I'm going to share my screen. All right, so um, uh, my name is Fawad Hamidi. I'm an uh, assistant professor in information systems at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. And it's my pleasure to present this uh, research on uh, behalf of my colleagues, um, also at uh, Digital Harbor Foundation, uh, Andrew Coy, and um, from Project Waves, Adam Bohamed. This is a collaborative uh, rapid uh, project, uh, and it's uh, funded, obviously, by the NSF. So um, uh, the, the topic of the project is responding to COVID-19 uh, with community internet. So across the United States, uh, there's a significant number of people who lack uh, broadband access uh, to internet in their households. Uh, depending on uh, where you look, there, the number varies. So according to the FCC, a very uh, conservative estimate is about 21.3 million people. And then uh, Microsoft also has estimated about um, uh, 150 um, 151 uh, uh, million people. So uh, there is, uh, regardless of the exact number, there is uh, definitely um, a significant number. And in, in Baltimore City, where our project is located, um, according to the 2019 US Census, uh, there was 28% of households who did, that didn't have um, access to broadband internet. And also uh, the Baltimore City Schools uh, did a rec uh, recent survey in response to COVID and uh, about um, uh, uh, 24,000 students don't have access to uh, devices or the internet connectivity uh, during this time. So this is uh, obviously a problem even in the absence of COVID, but of course uh, with, the, with COVID there is a lot of opportunities, including employment opportunities, educational opportunities, and also access to um, to opportunities for uh, social interaction that people are missing out if they don't have this internet accessibility. So in our project, we are investigating an effective and efficient community-based approach for setting up uh, free high-speed internet access in urban settings. Um, uh, so we're looking at both the technical and the social aspects of this question. On the technical side, we are looking at how to set up uh, mesh networks in an urban setting. So a mesh network essentially connects to the backbone internet using a wired link, and then you can um, uh, distribute uh, routers, wireless routers across a, a geographical space and quickly set up um, internet activity uh, or network connectivity in our case, it's the internet uh, across the community. So um, our project uh, involves three phases. So uh, first, first it involves setting up points of presence. So in the city, uh, we partner with uh, organizations that have um, basically points of um, uh, uh, points of access with uh, good visibility. So there should be um, basically a clear line of sight between an antenna and the routers that we want to connect with. And these include um, very tall buildings in, in our city and also, for example, uh, 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 buildings like churches and so on that can provide this, uh, this access for us. And the city has been very generous. Uh, our community partners have been very generous to kind of set up uh, that infrastructure. The next step is uh, going into the community and setting up routers at each house and kind of setting up so that to make sure that the, uh, the system is compatible um, uh, with, the, with, the, with the household. And then uh, finally, uh, creating online trusted uh, information resources so that our community members can access um, uh, these resources in a timely manner once they have the connectivity. So, um, so far, um, uh, we have uh, received some very um, positive feedback uh, from the participants from a research perspective. We're conducting both surveys and also interviews to understand what are what is the impact of having this access. And I just have a couple of quotes here. Um, uh, quickly read them. Internet connectivity is a necessity. Everybody needs it. Everybody should have it. And uh, another participant said, COVID is a stagnating life as we know it. And having this internet, it's allowing life to go on. So we're looking forward to continuing the work. And as we're going uh, along uh, um, documenting uh, what are some strategies for effective deployment and also what are some barriers and how we can overcome them in the face of pandemics in the future. Yeah, I think uh, that wraps up my, uh, my talk. Um, I hope that I was on time. 
Uh, I think I have one last slide. Uh, so there's a lot of people involved here. I want to thank my students and also amazing community partners, Project Waves, uh, working on the ground, setting up the infrastructure, and also the Digital Harbor Foundation, uh, iteratively creating online resources for the community and getting feedback from them to see what is needed. And of course, I'd like to thank the uh, National Science Foundation for their generous uh, award for us to be able to do this work. All right, thank you very much for, uh, for, the, uh, for organizing this talk and I'm happy to answer questions afterwards.